It might be helpful to get the microphone over here where you guys can hear me. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome. It's uh, Wednesday, March the 20th. I, I used to give the date out every day. I kind of got out of the habit of doing that. Maybe I'll start that back. How's everybody this morning? This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is the show where we talk about stuff you need to help you get started in, uh, on a uh, great day. Today is going to be a great day because... We're here. We're upright. We're walking around. And because I've got a great message for you. Uh, quote of the day out today. I'm going to be out on Instagram. Should be out any minute if it's not out already. Rarely have I seen a situation where doing less than the other guy is a good strategy. Rarely have I seen a situation where doing less than the other guy is a good strategy. The You know, I... I Title this morning's episode, When Doing Less is More. Sometimes doing less is more, but here's the point, especially as it relates to uh, kind of our quote this morning. Sometimes you have to... Mm, not sometimes. You always have to differentiate yourself from the competition by delivering more value. Sometimes that also allows you to raise the price, but not always. So here's what I mean. Let's talk about that for just a minute. First of all, understanding who your competition is. Right? Your your competition is whoever's getting the dollar today that you want tomorrow. Whoever is solving the problem today that you're trying to solve tomorrow. So I'm, you know... Yesterday at lunch, got to speak at a panel here at a, a local bank, and, uh, and when we're talking about this, I usually give the example. When Southwest Airlines started, they considered their competition to be Greyhound because they were trying to to compete on short haul, low cost, point to point transportation. That's what buses had traditionally done. They weren't competing with the airline with the other airlines who were flying cross country around the world. These were, you know, short, hot, quick turn trips. Starbucks, for years, considered their competition to be my own living room. Why would I go out of the house, get dressed, go out of the house, buy a $4 cup of coffee when I could buy, a, you know, make a 40 cent cup of coffee and sit in somebody else's living room and listen to all the other people yammer while I could sit in my own living room and have them peace and quiet. So it, all this begins by understanding who your competition is. How is that problem being solved today? And now go above and beyond that. So in, in the Southwest example, by the way, good morning to Joe and Keith, both of y'all for being here. When you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what they've done, leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you're... Uh, that you are there and leave a comment. Just think about this for a minute. Who, who is for whatever value that you're trying to put out into the world, whether it's for a business, for your own business, for, um, an employer, who is the competition that you are competing against? How is that problem being solved today? Drop that down in the comments. Let me know. Who are you competing against? Because if you don't understand that, Right? If you don't understand the battle that's ahead of you, you're never going to win. All right. So once you have a good grasp on who you're competing against, now you know what you what how you have to go above and beyond that, or at least what the line is that you have to get beyond. Good morning, Tatiana. Good to see you here this morning too. So now that we know that we have to go who we're competing with and go above and beyond, how do you do that? So south in the southwest example, the bus might take a couple of hours because it stopped at a bunch of different places. It might take you a couple of hours to get to a place. They can get you there in a few minutes. 
easy on, easy off, quick turnaround, in and out. Right? I mean, that, that was their specialty for decades. Right? So that's how they went above and beyond. They kept the price point reasonable. It was about the same price as a bus ticket for a long time. And then over-delivered on uh, time. Yeah, Joe talks about the blue water analogy as opposed to the red water. Um, that's a good one. If, you, if you've never heard of the blue water or blue ocean uh, analogy, um, leave a comment down there. Let me know. I'll, I'll go into it and explain it. So Starbucks, how did Starbucks add value? Well, they made things, they made the kinds of coffee that you wouldn't make for yourself. And there's a lot of people you know, messing with that microphone. They ain't even the right one. <clears throat> there's a lot of people that won't make the kinds of coffee that Starbucks will. Right? And then they make a nice, comfortable environment for you to sit and meet, up, meet friends and whatnot. So the whole point here is, in kind of originating from this quote from Jimmy Spithill, rarely have I seen a situation where doing less than the other guy is a good strategy. In order to win, in order to get ahead, you've got to do more. You have to know who, in his case, who the other guy is, who your competition is. But if you can understand those things, do those things, and pursue them, then guess what? You're going to get ahead. Great things will happen for you. So this morning as you are heading out, uh, knowing, what I used to say, knowing is not enough. Success requires action and intention, right? So now that you know this, now that you've I've shared this uh, knowledge with you, that you are obliged to use it. Who is your competition and what do you have to do to over-deliver, to deliver beyond that which your competition is doing. If this has been helpful for you. I would appreciate the thumbs up, the hearts, and sharing this video with your network so we can help get the message out to the masses that need to hear it every morning. It's uh, Wednesday. Uh, I will be at the coffee shop. We'll see if there's a coffee shop show. And I will definitely be back here. Co working nights tonight, by the way. It's spring break, but there's still a uh, co-working night. I, I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember uh, what's on the schedule. Let's have to go check that out. CWNflyer.com. CWN, like co-working night. CWNflyer.com. And then we'll definitely be back here tomorrow morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Till then, you guys have a great Wednesday, and I will talk to you tomorrow.